Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cars and Cloud. So, first of all, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My channel will cover Office 365, Microsoft Azure Active Directory, Configuration Manager, or SCCM, and anything related to applications deployment and Windows 10 deployment. Also, Microsoft Intune. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure AD Connect using Path Authentication, which is the PTA, is the technology. So if you're looking to um, set up AD Connect and you have different location or different sites and and you're looking for high availability, I recommend that you use Azure AD Connect uh, Path Authentication. So with Path Authentication, you can have multiple PTA agent. I mean, you can have multiple. You can have PTA agent installed on multiple servers. So let's get started. First of all, I need to download the Azure AD Connect. Let's Google Google and download Azure AD Connect. Right here, this is the one. Download Azure AD Connect. It's pretty new, it's dated December 18, 2018. I'll click on download. It is 83.6 meg. Let's open it up. I'm going to right click and then go to install. I'm going to install on my server 2012 here. Let me minimize the screen. Close this out. All right, so let's click on agree. Continue. You want to choose customize. Specify custom installation location. If you want to install in a different location other than the default um, Microsoft programs files folder, you can uh, make that selection. If you have a hundred thousand objects to sync, I recommend that you use the SQL Server. So in this case, I'm not going to use SQL Server. Use an existing service account. I already have a service account. I'm going to use specify custom sync group. I don't have a custom sync group, so I'm going to skip that and click on install. It's by default, it's going to install SQL Server Express. So again, if you have anything, objects that you plan to sync that is over 100,000 or close to 100,000, I recommend you install uh, a SQL Server. All right, it's gonna take a few minutes. Um, I don't want this video to go too long. I'm just going to pause the video for now and then um, start recording again when it's um, begin to install or configure. All right, here's the fun part. Password has synchronization. Nope, I'm gonna choose the uh, path through authentication. My next video, I'm going to cover the federation with ADFS. I'm going to select Enable Single Sign-On. Click 
next I'm going to enter my um, Office 365 credential Click next. User password is incorrect. Let me try that again. Hmm. Okay, crossandcloud.com, password is Hmm, let me uh, double check that Actually, the user account is cloud That should be correct. All right, looks good. Oh, by the way, so I ran the, um, the AD fix tool and my environment is okay. So like my previous video, you need to run the ID fix tool to make sure there is no issues with your current, um, with your current UPN or your user's account. So I have two issues one is the um, the top level domain this and this with this account I'm gonna fix this account later I'm not going to about this one I fix that later all right so just click add directory I'm gonna use my um, existing account my domain admin account I advise that you use the service account for this one All right, let's see. I thought it was Carson. Let's see, Carson at Carson Cloud. Oops, it's supposed to be like this. My bad. Um, Carson Cloud. That is my domain. My user is Carson. My password. Click OK. Looks good. It took it. I don't have any other forest. So this is my one and only forest. I'm going to click Next. If you have multiple forests, you should be able to add um, the forest. It just says that I have a dot local account. Uh, the dot local domain is which is um, non variable domain. All right, I'm going to check this box and click next. Use the primary principal name. Just want to choose that one. Click next. Sync all domains and OU or selected domains or selected OU. So if you want to sync only a certain OUs, just say users OU, you can just select any of these OU here. But in my case, I'm going to sync all the OUs. Click next. That's fine. You, uh, unique identi identify for users looks good 
that as you manage the source anchor synchronization all using devices looks good if you have exchange in your environment I suggest that you check exchange I'm not going to do anything with exchange for right now There's a password ha uh, password right back. Um, not going to do anything with password right back. So go ahead and click continue or oh, next. Single sign on. I need to enter my domain again, my domain account, my on-premise domain account. Looks good, it's green. Now it's time to click next. Oh, here's the um, the last screen here. If you want to enable the staging mode, that means it's not going to sync right away. You can check this box. Just for testing purposes. So for now, I'm just going to start synchronization. Click on install. This will take about five to 10 minutes. Um, I'm just going to let it run and pause the video and we'll continue. All right, look like the setup is completed. Let's go exit. Let's go to the portal. Now I should have all my user account or my users um, sync. Let's search for a couple of my users. Uh, let's see, Timothy. Here it is. Let's find another one. Um, this one is, I think, Chris. No, that's not it. Um, let's look at here. It was Timothy, it's Larry. Let's look for Larry. Okay, here it is. So, and if you look at your machine, you should see um, an agent. The path authentication agent is running as a service. It's supposed to be called All right, <clears throat> so the agent Here is the Microsoft agent, um, Azure AD Connect agent. So you want this agent to uh, run all the time. And for high availability, like I mentioned, you need to install the agent on a different server. So you can go into your office or your Azure and download the agent. Uh, let's see here, let's go to admin.
click on Azure Active Directory. Azure Active Directory. That should be Azure AD Connect, this one here. And it will tell you um, the last time it was sync. So the agent that you want to download and install on a different servers or different computer, you need to click on this one and then download the agent. Accept. And you can install it on as many servers you want. So that's it. Thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions. Have a good day.